Yes, here we are. Sports bit. Betting Insight today. Paulie and Teddy on SBRPicks.com. Wednesday, April 18th. Big game breakdown. Three more games in the NBA playoffs. We love that. And we'll look at the adjusted future book and some adjusted series prices uh, coming up. And we'll get to that in the shot clock and the play of the day. Of course, bad beats, bad bets, bad for the books. A tough beat. The sickest beats in Major League Baseball. 3-1 Dodgers. The total was 8. 3-1 Dodgers in the bottom of the ninth. Jansen blows another save. Padres tie it. Dodgers get four in the 12th. They win 7-3. to three. Jansen has blown more saves already as we sit here in April and did all of last year. 2-1. to one. <laughs> And, of course, the Dodgers get the win anyway oh, with yep. the blown save, which makes it even more disgusting if you had – uh, you know, San Diego, if you had under in that ballgame, whatever it was, the bottom line is you nailed it, Polly. The very worst beats are going to come with bullpen meltdowns. This one of many we'll talk about over the course of the long MLB campaign. All right, how about some bad bets? Let's start in the NBA. The Bucks took money from three down to one. They gave up 120 points. They had 15 more turnovers. They were 7 to 17 from the line. Rozier carved them up again. Jalen Brown had 30. Celtics lead the series 2 0. Yeah, and look, I had uh, Milwaukee money in my pocket last night. It was wrong from the get go. And if you watch the first half play out in that ballgame where the Bucks are sh- shooting a ridiculous percentage. Yes. Particularly from yes. two point range and still trailing by double digits. They turned the ball over just like they did in the first meeting. They didn't play a whole lot of defense just like they did in the first meeting. And Eric Bledsoe saying, who? <laughs> when it comes to Terry Rozier after the ball game, it's an embarrassment for Milwaukee, an embarrassment for Bledsoe. The Stevens versus Prunty coaching mismatch it was on display last night. Uh, the Celtics were better prepared, and it showed. Unfortunately, that cost me a wager. Wasn't happy about that yep. game one bit, Polly. Wizards got us play of the day as well. Toronto ran them out, 76 points in the first half. Uh, ball and ball, Wall and Beal were in foul trouble. How about Beal? They were minus outscored by 30 points, 34 points when he was on the floor. But in any event, we had a nice run going of overs in the NBA, which came to an end with the late game. They got they got me again. Playoff Rondo. But as far as the total, the Blazers bet up the total from 213 and a half to 217, and it fell 213. Pelicans take the first two on the road. Yeah, I mean, impressive start to the series of four New Orleans. Series isn't done yet. These series go seven games, and the best team's got to win four to survive in advance. But you talked about it on the show yesterday. The biggest disappointment from game one was the backcourt of Lillard and McCollum. What happened last night? Playoff Rondo outplays Lillard again. Big time in that contest. For betters, however, with the money going over, 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 and then just sneaking under. Oh, that's brutal. 213 up to 217. Lands 213 and a half up to 217. Lands 213. Ouch. That, not a good result for over betters. A very good result for the bookmakers. Holiday's been terrific. He's been awesome in this series. Yankees three dollars up to three forty. Routed at home by the Marlins nine to one, and the White Sox A's under from nine down to eight and a half. Ten two A's in that one. Yeah, I mean again, two games where the betting markets got it wrong. <laughs> uh, Yankees getting steamed up. They were never in that contest. Good for Miami. Uh, give them credit for the rare victory. Uh, same thing with that total. You know, you get one team flying over the total by themselves. All the steam, all the sharp money. All of that was wrong. Another good result for the bookmakers. Uh, a little more baseball here. Bad for the books. Uh, Wood finally got a win for the Dodgers. At least when he was uh, the Dodgers got a win while Wood was on the mound. Dollar ninety-five up to two twenty. The uh, four runs in the twelfth, as we mentioned earlier. Astros one seventy-five up to two dollars. Four one at Seattle. McCullers seven inning, seven innings and one innings, uh, one hit allowed only. I'm worried about that Houston offense. They're in a funk right now. That being said. You know, we talk about the popular favorites in baseball. Dodgers a popular favorite. Astros a popular favorite. What does the public do when they look at popular favorites that are big chalk? They bet them on the run line. What happened last night? Dodgers cash in on the run line in extras. Astros, even though the offense wasn't going, McCullers pitches a gem. They cash on the run line as well. So that duo in particular, Dodgers and Astros winning. Dodgers and Astros on the run line winning. That was not a good game, <laughs> or those were not good games for the house yesterday, certainly when it came to parlay liability. 
Little hockey, Capitals took money in a must-win. Plus 120 down to even, beat Columbus in double overtime 3-2. to two. Trotz was like a buffoon after he waited to put Holtby in there till game three. Maybe they lead the series if Holtby was started from the get-go. And three unders last night. All three games went under in the NHL playoffs after we had the 9-0, the 9-0-3 run to the over in the last three nights. All three road teams went as well. And the Vegas Golden Knights sweep the Kings they're the first expansion team in league history to sweep their first playoff series. Teddy, they scored seven goals in the series and swept the <laughs> Kings. 36 and five when they score first. Amazing. Flurry, man. Flurry has been unreal. But Sick. Uh, I mean, Vegas, when it comes to the Golden Knights, continues to be not a story, the story in the hockey world. Again, we're talking about an out of nowhere. We're talking about a team that in this first, despite their dominant season, first round, they were very short favorites, priced pretty close to pick them. Maybe we'll start to see some betting market respect for the Golden Knights after this series win. But frankly, Polly, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think if you're riding Vegas, you keep on riding them. Unfortunately, if you were riding the unders or the overstreaks in the NHL yesterday, not a good result. For overbetters, obviously, as all three games cashed under tickets. All right, how about some uh, adjusted future odds from William Hill and adjusted series prices? Now updated this morning to win the East, the Raptors are plus 110, Cavs are plus $1.60, and the Sixers are plus 350. In the West, the Warriors now the favorite, minus 120, Rockets even money, OKC 10 to 1, and the Pelicans now 22 to 1 after they win again in Portland. Sure. Talk about some of the adjusted series prices going into this right now. Because, of course, when you're talking about the future book, only one team's going to win. When you're talking about adjusted series prices, one team's going to win every series. And so, in general, these are bets that I really like to get involved with. We look at the adjusted series prices now. Cleveland still more than $2 favorite over Indiana. OKC's up to 230 after winning game one against Utah. The Sixers still. Big chalk, minus 340 versus plus 280 against Miami. Those are the three series priced most competitively as we head into the game twos and game threes over the course of the next couple of all, uh, next couple of days. Yeah. And to win the title, Golden State plus 105, Houston plus $1.10. You got Toronto and the Cavs in there with the Sixers and OKC. We'll get back to this with the shot clock. Uh, later in the show before the play of the day. Up next, big game breakdown. The three games in the NBA playoffs up next on SportsBit. Betting and Insight today on SBRPicks.com. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.